How to add blurb sound alerts to your stream. You can use bits to trigger sound alerts, channel points to trigger sound alerts, and you can let subscribers trigger sound alerts when they come into your stream. This video is sponsored by Blurb as they have an awesome extension that will help with all of these. For this tutorial, I made a new account, uh, testing for YouTube tree. This thing for YouTube was already taken, okay? This is because I want you guys to see how to set it up from the start. So we go to blurb.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description to make it easy for you. Okay, we're gonna sign up here. Sign up with Twitch. Okay, we see our name here, testing for tree. That's the account I just made. And it asks you for permissions and we're gonna authorize it. So it generates a username for us. Let's see if we can remove this. It's still valid. Okay, nice. And our email address, I did block it because I use my personal instead. <laughs> and our birthday, let me set my birthday to be my actual birthday. You can set a profile image here, but for now, I'm not gonna bother with it because, well, this is not my actual account. This is just so you guys see how to set it up at the start. Okay, agree with the terms of service and continue. We made a brand new Blurp account here. So when we made an account, all we can do is click on streamer dashboard here. And this is where you can set the settings for channel points, bits, welcome, and you can see the history in affiliate. What we can also do is click on our image here and click on profile. This brings us to our profile where we can see which blurbs we have added, which collections we've made and which blurbs we have made ourselves. Okay, we have a button here that says Twitch dashboard. If we click on that, we have welcome to blurb, build your community, continue to access with your Twitch extension settings. And here we can say which of their products do we want to use? Do we want to use the bits? Which is if people donate bits, we can play a sound alert. We can turn that on or off. Walk on, when subscribers walk in, do you want to trigger it? Create up to 50 channel point rewards for viewers. This is great out. I think the reason this is, is because we're not a Twitch affiliate, which also means that we cannot use subscribers and bits right now because we're not a Twitch affiliate on this account, right? We can say I use OBS or something else. If you use Streamlabs OBS or Stu Twitch Studio or XSplit, you can click on this one. I do recommend using OBS, so we're gonna click on that one. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna click on copy here. Now we're gonna get a little bit of a streamception with my OBS. And what we're gonna do is click on a plus and add a browser source. Here we're gonna call it blurb. And I'm just gonna paste this link here. We're gonna make it 1920 by 1080 and click on okay. You won't see a difference, like you see it's just empty, but the alerts will come up here. The sounds will play and the visuals will play in this screen. Okay, we can test the audio here. You've made a grave mistake. You can see it works. Okay, good. If this doesn't work, you probably did something wrong. If you still need help, there is a little article here that can help you with that. Install extension. If you want people to interact with the Twitch extension, you can install that here and set it up. If you want to use the channel point rewards, you do not need the extension. So then you do not have to download this. Okay, so if you want to only use it for the channel points, skip this step. We're gonna click on install and configure. Open a config that will lead us back to the website and we can get started. Okay, so we clicked on it, we gone back to the website. You don't have to do everything again. If it doesn't work, you could do everything again. But now there's this configure button here. It will always lead you back to the page to configure the extension again. So now we can see that if we click on here and go to our creator dashboard, here we can click on extensions. And if we click on my extensions, Blurb has been activated here now. We can activate it as overlay for a stream as component one or two, or we can add it in our panels. If we add it as a new panel, then it will be underneath on our profile. If I go back to my channel, which is not actually my channel, and we go to about, we can see that the Blurb extension started to show here and people can start triggering these sound effects. Okay, so there's a lot of settings we haven't gone over yet. So here in the top right, if we click on our icon, which we haven't set because, you know, this is just a throwaway account to show you guys, we can see a lot of different things. Let's just go to account settings first. Here we see our username and we see the type of profile. It's normal. We can also set it on private if we don't want to share our information. If we click on here, we can see all the information about our gender, last name, first name, stuff like that. I haven't set those because again, it's a throwaway account, but I would recommend filling these in. Like you see here, we have the streamer subscription and the hotkey app subscription, which is another feature they have. And here you get 50 rewards, Twitch supported maximum, 
because you know Twitch can't do more than 50 rewards in the channel points. Custom reward description for the channel points, custom reward colors for the channel points, and blurb buckets. One reward with multiple sounds, for example if you want to trigger a random sound alert for a horror stream or something like that. And you can see you can get a two year plan, a one year plan or a monthly plan if you want to test it out. We can also see the premium content here if we click on it. This is where you can become a blurb partner. And you can see these are the sound packs that you can buy. And we can see that there's an Uncle Iron's voice pack with the original voice actor. How do you expect to swim if you are boxed like a fish? So we can see there's a whole pack of these sounds. And we can explore all the burps by clicking on this button. And burps are actually the sound effects. If you do not have the button with add new blurbs, what you can do is go to the top left and click on blurb. Then we go to the same page. So here we can see there are some premium packages from streamers, for example, that you can buy with sound alerts in them. But here we also have a lot of free blurbs like the Screaming Goat and much more. There are some recommended for us here. Top creators who made blurbs. You can click back here on my library to go back to the page that we were just on and explore blurbs to get back here. You can load more blurbs here as well. Brain fart. Ooh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> there are tons of blurbs on here, so you can find a lot of different things. There's also the search option here. For example, we can find a whoosh. Or we can search for a laugh. The memes, guys, the memes. There is a lot of memes on here. So if you're trying to find some memes, just search them up here. So for example, we want the CAC W meme and I'm just gonna bookmark it here. And now it's a saved underneath here. We can say it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> Let's go. We're giving it a funny and we're, we're voting it up basically. I think the best way to find specific blurbs would be searching them. But if you want to get some inspiration, I would definitely go to new blurbs here and load some more in. And you can see what kind of new blurbs have been coming in. You probably want to bookmark this page so you can easily access your blurbs and change them around if you want to. If we go to my library, but we will see that the laugh has appeared in here. People can start using them if we have blurb set up. All right, we can add as many as we want. So let me just add a couple more. And when I'm adding them, you can see their rating here. This is PG, G, PG-13. So we can see if they're appropriate for kids or not. So I'm going back to the library and I've added some. So we do have a little collection now. If you need any more help with setting up the blurbs, you can go to blurb.com and go to support here and contact the team. You can ask any questions you have. So to create your own blurbs, what you do is you go to create new blurb. Here you can just upload a file. You can upload a YouTube link, a Twitch link, TikTok link, SoundCloud link, Vimeo link. Facebook link and a Twitter link and they will turn it into the sound or you can just literally upload a sound. You're also allowed to upload an mp4 so for example I do have this clip of me being a dummy and we could take the audio of this by dropping it in here and then we can select here which audio we actually want. Okay we selected the, the part where I'm saying okay it's 45 it's not obviously. Now we have a blurb length of 3.5 nine one seconds we see the starting point and the end point and we just click on next now we're gonna give it a name 45 we can change the image to whatever we want let's just upload one of my logos and then we can give it text 45 tree meme because <laughs> that's what it is the 45 tree meme and we can set it on public unlisted or private so if we don't want to share this blurb we can set it on private if you want other people to be able to share it as well set it on public if you want people to not find it, unless you share the link, unlist it. Who is the creator, speaker or author of this video? Well, what's the sound actually? That is me, Tree. And what is it? It's a, it's a sound effect. It's a quote, I would say, because I have said that. The quote is source uh, Twitch stream. And the transcription is 45, 45. Next, we could create a new collection. So we create a new collection and call it Truey. We could click on this for a picture. Let me see, we do probably have like a picture that I can use like my face. Here we go. And we can set it on public again, private or unlisted. Let's just keep it on public. And then here, uh, find your new blurb in your library. So if we open blurb again, we can see that it will open the meme. We can play it. Come on, it's 45, 40, 
Sorry. We can see that it's uh, created by testing for a YouTube tree. That's us. <laughs> and we can see that in created here, we now have 45. But we also have a collection called tree memes. Okay, we also have collections up here. We can make one collection of blurbs. We can give it a name like birthday or something like that. And we can use it for a birthday stream. Here are all the blurbs, the ones that we've saved. And the ones that we've purchased as a collection. And the ones that we have created here. I mean, these are tags, so, you know, we have everything now. But created is the ones that you've uploaded yourself on Blurb. If you want to create a collection, but you do not want to create your own Blurb, that's also possible. We click on create and then go to new collection. Here we can do the same thing. We can upload a picture, put a name in a description and make it public or unlisted or private. And then you basically get the same thing as when you do it while creating a blurb yourself. For the rest of the tutorial, I will be switching to my actual account because that was going to make it easier as I'm a Twitch affiliate and this account obviously isn't. Okay, this is my actual profile. <laughs> I've got one follower on blurb. Thanks, whoever that is. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on our profile here and we're going to go to channel points. This button will transfer your old channel point rewards into the new ones. Click on that if you still have the old ones. We added multi-select and a better way to test your rewards. So now we can test them here. We have the Twitch chat and we can copy the URL again for in OBS here. So we go back to OBS. We're clicking plus browser blurb channel points. Paste it in here. 1920 by 1080. Okay. And it's in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new reward. Here we can see some suggestions, the screaming goat that we have listened to before. I mean, I'm a fan, so we're gonna add that one. Preview in OBS. <coughs> I hear it come true, so that's good. We can add tags for the screaming goat, but we can keep it like this if you want to. Screaming goat, it's already caught like that. The volume, if it's too loud or not loud enough, we can change that here. So this means that we can change individual blurbs from how loud they're gonna be. The reward color here, for in your channel points. So we're gonna make it purple. We can also put in a hex code if you want an exact color. The description uh, now is powered by blurb, but we can do whatever we want. Triggers a gold sound alert. Redemption amount. This is how much it costs to trigger. Let's say thousand channel points. We can put a cooldown in here, which means that nobody can use it for, for example, five minutes if you've used it before. We can also say we can only have it once a stream or 10 times a stream, but we can also say one user can only trigger it once. Limit is 10 per stream, but one per user, which means 10 users can use it, but it's also cooldown for five minutes. So 10 users can use it as long as it's at least five minutes apart from each other in one stream. We can add the reward and it's going to appear in here. We can see that we have the screaming goat here. It says you can only redeem it during the stream. So we cannot click on redeem right now because we're not live streaming. But if you want to test it, we can click on here. But we can also go to test rewards and we can see that it's in here. So you do not have to go to your Twitch, but if you want to double check, you can always do that. So outside of creating like one blurb like that, there's also buckets. So if we click on bucket here, we can see what reward many sounds. This is a randomized sound and you can adjust how badly the odds are for one sound. You can set it, for example, even percentages this way there is an even chance for every alert to trigger. But we can also set it that one alert tr triggers almost every time, but the other alert triggers only 1% of the time. We get an empty bucket here. We can add a new blurb here. Whoop. It goes to the created blurb because that's where I was on last, but we can also go to discover and we're gonna do a uh, door slam. Door slam. Okay, this one is creepy enough. We're gonna do plus. Weight controls the odds of the sound playing when this reward is redeemed. So now we have 10, which means that if we also give a weight of 10 to other blurbs, the chance would be the same. Click preview to simulate what will happen when this redeems. So we can preview. And now we only have the door slam, so it will always play the door slam. We can call this bucket horror for horror streams. And we can say the amount of channel points it costs is, for example, thousands to trigger this. The cooldown you can set, for example, only one per minute, 50 per stream, but a user can only do max of 10 per person. We can add more in here, which would make sense in the bucket. For example, scream. That's scary. Okay, let's add that. And because they have the same weight, the odds are gonna be the same. But if we're gonna give this stream weight, 
Now this one has more weight, so more chance. Okay, let's put it back. Now it's a 50-50 chance. You guys can see that the odds change and that if we do like this, for example, this one will be playing a lot more often than these two would. You can test this reward here. You can see that most of the time it will be the door slam now. And if you want to create this blurb collection, we can add as many as we want in here. We can create it and it's going to be saving. We actually made this bucket and we're going to go back now. We can see there is a horror bucket here. You can see that this is a bucket and not just a one sound by seeing multiple of these squares in here indicates that there are multiple sounds instead of one. If we go back to a Twitch chat and reload the page, we can see there's a horror bucket here now that we can redeem if we're alive. You can add a max of 50 because this is the maximum Twitch will give for channel points. If you want to change the settings here, there's a scock wheel and we can copy the browser source here and test the rewards. Then we can set the channel points, cooldown and stuff like that as default settings. So if you want to do the same settings over and over, this is a good thing to do so you don't have to set it multiple times. Out of fulfill by Blurb, the channel points will go into the channel points reward queue, but they will be accepted by Blurb. So this means that they will be removed out of the reward queue because they have been played. Channel point volume, you can change the volume here if you want it less loud or louder. And we can hear successfully updated. And we can save the settings here. We can blacklist some of the blurbs if you don't want them. You can also block viewers from using them by putting in their name here. Here in this list you can see we have banned and can, you can unban them if you want to. And the general settings. Here you can also set up who is editor. So for example, if I want to add somebody as an editor, I can for example say... And then we're gonna search this person. This is my other account and we're gonna add as editor. And then if they want to change some blurbs, they need to have this link. So make sure that you send these to your editor because then they can add blurbs and they can move blurbs to your account. If you want blurb to not post that they're triggering a sound alert, you can also turn this off and it wouldn't put anything in chat while triggering the sound alerts. You can also customize the message here. We can also customize the alert and extension. If we turn this on, it will be custom and we can change how these things look like. For example, we can change the color of this. Now it looks differently. We save it and now it will look different in our OBS. For change settings for the bit extension, we can click on channel points here. And then here in the top right, we see the cockwheel and click on bits. And now we do have the settings here. This is the browser source you want to put in OBS again. We can test the audio. We can install the extension by clicking on here. It will bring us back to Twitch and we can install it. We've gone through this, right? And we can set it as component, which is an overlay for a stream or here in the panels on your Twitch profile. We can also configure the extension here and activate the extension right here. You can change how these alerts look like for the bits in here. If you are on the channel points page, what we can do is we can go to bits up here and then here we can set some settings. For example, we can activate global search. This makes it possible that your viewers can search any pages and use any blurbs. We can also turn that off if we do not want that and they only can use the blurbs that we have set. If you want that, we can say how much the things should cost, 10 bits for now, and what the rating would be, for example, G for everybody. And who can use these all viewers tier one to two or tier three? I would say all viewers because they pay bits for it. And we can see the viewer panel if we click on here. You need to make sure that you activate the panel in the extensions for this to work. Here you can copy the URL for OBS to put in your browser source to have these sounds actually go off. And here we can again look into my library, discover new ones, create blurbs. And then here we can say we add a new page. So this will be our home page. Let's say we're going to add the ghost screen in here. Now the ghost screen is in here. We're going to add something else. So we've set two things in here now. You can set as many as you want. We can set a lot and we can add more pages in here. And if you want to edit these, we can click on these dots here. We can enable or disable the blurb. We can change the name, the volume it will play in OBS, the amount of bits they need to pay for, and who can actually trigger them. So what we can do is we can move these around. And for example, the ones that we want people to trigger, we can put these in the first page. So you can basically change these positions of these collections to somewhere else and have the first page be the blurbs that we actually want people to use, for example. For walk on, we go on here. Let's resume this. We can see all the people that come in that try and trigger something. Right now there's nobody. 
We can also see what's improved and rejected. Walk-on sounds let your viewers play a unique sound of their choosing when entering your stream. So they can go to all the blurbs and look at something they want to trigger. They're coming into your stream and they might say oh, hello, but they also might just throw in a jump scare. Configure them here, the walk-on. Here we can copy the browser source to put into our OBS, install the extension for people to actually be able to trigger it. And then here we can set the cooldown. For example, if you stream once a day, you can set this on day, but if you stream twice a day, you could also set this on for six hours. And then every six hours, they're able to do it again. So now every day, their timer resets and they can do it only once a day. We can say that all subs have access, but we can also say all viewers have access. I do want to be careful with all viewers because that might become really spammy as everybody can trigger a sound alert when they come in. We can also whitelist specific users. If they're not subscribed, they can still do it. So if you have regulars, you can still put them in even though they're not subscribed. Make sure to click on save. Again, we need to make sure that we have the blurb extension installed for this. Make sure that if you use the walk on extension for Twitch that you make sure that this extension can view your subscription list because otherwise it doesn't know who your subscribers are. You can also click on history in the top here and then we can see which kind of sounds have been played. For example, the 25th of June, we have 10 bits by somebody anonymous who, who triggered this money sound. And we can see bits, channel points, walk on, we can, we can load all these things in. So if you're already channel points here and then we go to affiliate, we can become a blurb affiliate. What does this mean? If you become a blurb affiliate, you can see here you're an affiliate. You get your own affiliate link. If you copy that, I'll leave that down below in the description. You can get a $50 gift card or three gifted subs. Here you can see people that have already signed up with my link. Your girl Sasha here has done the whole thing for channel points, so 100% it. So this means that we can claim our bonus for Sasha by clicking on claim here. We can get three gifted subs. Amazon $50 card or a Steam $50 card. And if we click on done, we can actually get that reward. So that's a cool way of getting something extra from Blur because it's a cool extension anyway. And if you're using it, might as well just recommend a friend, right? So if you want to unlock the affiliate, you have to complete either the 100% for channel point, bits or walk on. You don't have to do all three, but if you complete one of them, you will get the affiliate link yourself as well. So this is how you can set up sound alerts in your stream. But wait, you don't think you're done, right? Because there's so many tools that can help you grow your stream. Here's a list of 50 tools that you definitely want to use for your stream. I'll see you there.